Just another incident. Seven cops down. Four permanently. A few more hours and we might have had help. Too bad the gangs got us first. Nearly two weeks now since we'd wasted Nanosoft's cruiser. The corporate war was finally over. But it had ripped the colony wide open. And the problems just kept on piling up. Sure. We'd beaten the corporations, but we'd taken a pounding in the process. Small pockets of nanosoft resistance had gone underground, occasionally popping up for some payback. But the big problem, the one getting bigger by the day, was the crime syndicates. These suckers had picked up some serious firepower during the war. Now they were taking advantage of the situation. Big time. What was left of the government police was just too strung out to cope. Recruitment wasn't doing too well either. No real surprise there. Peace doesn't come easy on Coastal, and a G police officer rarely lives to draw a pension. Fortunately for us, Commander Speak's request for assistance had finally been answered. The cavalry had shown up in the shape of a small marine strike force. Three ships were deployed in low orbit around Callisto. A special prosecutor, a guy named Marmont, was with the strike force to investigate the whole twisted business. He'd already been in communication with Speak, demanding a full report, and it didn't look like they'd exactly hit it off. The commander had been pretty tight-lipped afterwards. Seemed like we weren't gonna be showered with medals after all. Even an official thank you and some R&R would have been nice. Marmont was a real charmer. Hadn't even bothered to tell us what to expect. All we knew for sure was that Marine Advance units would be hitting dirt sides soon. Speak figured the main landing force would probably spend some time fortifying the LZ before pushing forward to link up with us. Way too late for the people we just lost. But better late than never. What's left of the United Earth Marine Corps suffers from the same bureaucratic wrangling and cutbacks as the G police. So the units they sent probably wouldn't be much better off than we were. With luck, they'd still be strong enough to swing the balance and help us clean up Callisto for good. This is Barossa. We're picking up a faint blip at the edge of the asteroid belt. Sector 759er. Any of your wing in that area, Daniels? Oh, uh, that's a negative, Barossa. Request you check it out, Blue Leader. It may be one of our fighters drifting. We'll comply, Barossa. Blue section. Adjust heading to finish sweep at Sector 759er. Slater, you got anything for me? Clean, clear, and naked, Blue Leader. Blue Leader, this is Blue 5. Unable to comply. Fuel is low. Copy that, Blue 5. Return to home plate. Copy that, Blue Leader. Good luck. 
Blue Leader, this is Blue 2. I've got a fix on that blip, but it's more than one craft, and they're definitely not drifting. Copy that, Blue 2. Barossa, this is Blue Leader. We have contact with an unknown number of fast movers, potentially hostile. Heading, uh, 35, 72, 66. We are low on fuel and weapons. Please advise. Blue Leader, this is Barossa. Your contacts are definitely hostile. Repeat, hostile. We also have confirmation from survivors of the Talavera that Grice is probably with them. Ah. Request you delay hostiles and prevent them from rendezvousing with the Excelsior. Backup will be with you in approximately 12 minutes. We are transmitting an intercept vector now. Please comply. Vector copied and ready to punch, Barossa. We're on our way. Backup is now en route. ETA, 10 minutes and 20 seconds. Give it all you've got and bring all your ships back home, Daniels. Good luck. Barossa out. Thanks, Reese. Blue flight, this is Blue Leader. Assume attack formation. Weapons free. Punching intercept coordinates on my mark. Seven second burn. Three, two, one, mark. Bandits, bandits. Five Corsairs and Ron dropship. They're coming round for an attack run. Guns, guns, guns! Box one. Slater, check your six! Got him, Leader. Break it left and low. Now! I'm on him, Slater. Break right on my mark. Keep it coming. Keep it. Mark! Yes! Got it! Nice shooting, Krasik. That was... I got a spike! It's the Excelsior! She's coming up fast! Missiles inbound! Break! Break! Daniel, behind you! Check your six! I'm coming round! Engaging cruiser. Box two. Negative. Negative, Chrysig. Disengage. We haven't got enough firepower to dance with them. Get to the dropship. Confirm dropship. Copy that, Blue Leader. This sucker, I can't shake him. Slater, hurry up! Nearly on him. Hang in there, man. Blue Leader to base. Blue Leader to base. We have multiple bandits. They're all over us. We're dead. Back up. We are unable to comply with last command. I'm hit! I'm hit! I can't hold her! Mayday! Mayday! I'm going in! Daniel! Slater, on your tail! Look out! Krasig and I managed to stay alive long enough for the backup to arrive. But by that time, it was too late. Grice had managed to dock with the Excelsior and get clean away into the asteroid belt. Luckily, we'd picked up Daniels just in time. He was back on the Barossa, thawing out. Grice has to be headed for Mars. There's nowhere else for him to go. He's still capable of launching a nuclear strike at Earth, so we were gonna have to go after him. There's no hope of repairing the colony transmitter in time. Looks like it's up to us. <laughs>